Aloha guys, this is Scuba Chris. Now when I'm asked what kind of needle lines I use, I like to use fluorocarbon, but I also like to use this type of brand, soft steel fluorocarbon. This is made by Okuma Fishing. Now they have different strains. You got 10 and 12 pounds which just came out. You got 15, 20, 30, 40, 60, 80, 100, 130 pound test line. Now this is stretchable fluorocarbon and this is the first time this has ever been extruded um, and the process is done in uh, Japan. Now when, the, when this line is extruded it's going to have a certain stretch to it which will help increase the knot strength. Knot strength has been increased by 30 percent and you even have independent like BD. BD is um, Bloody decks, they're online, they're an online company, all right. You can look it up on the internet. They took this one here, 40 pound test line, they put it on their machine, they stretched it up to 57 pounds, still would not break. And, and that's no lie because you can look it up on the internet yourself, all right. So, this is my choice for fluorocarbon leaders. So how do I put my leaders together? Okay, I'm gonna give you a quick synopsis. I'm gonna take a reel. This is one of my uh, Coronado reels. And you can do everything. You can go plugging, jicking, spin casting, anything with this type of line, okay? So from my reel, I'm gonna uh, make up a um, dunking rig, which is basically bait casting, live or dead bait. So I'm gonna be using a three-way swivel here. Now what I do, is I first use a, my dunking rig which is five ounces here all right now I make this so everything is easy it's it's all prefabricated so for those of you who don't know what I do let's see now I get some monofilament so if my main line I say it's 50 pounds I'm going to use like 25 30 pounds um lead line all right and the reason why i do this is because if you get caught on the reef or a rock you want it to break all right so i'm going to do a loop knot which is called also a surgeon's knot I'm just gonna make a loop like so i'm just gonna loop it around one time two times pull it that's it very simple to do so what I have is one already made up here and I and I carry this wherever I go I can change out um, whenever I want to so on the three-way swivel I tie the main line to this side of the swivel where you see okay you have the one whole piece here and then you got the second swivel coming off of it so I tie the line from the rod directly to this one see that and it's going to be on this side here with the dropping swivel now on the smaller swivel which drops down here that's where I put the loop so I'm gonna put the loop through mm. come on just go through it there see I like to do things prefabricated so when I get to my spot everything is done there you go see we're up to this level right now now you see here on the three-way swivel this side here is open so I'll just take out what I prefer I prefer the 40 pound test line because I, I usually go on the shallow reefs and it's and they are, BD has already done the testing. They found that the uh, line will not break at 57 pounds. So that gives me a lot of uh, encouragement into that strengthened line. Plus, I never had the line break yet. A couple of times it was cut because of a puffer fish beat or an eel. All right, that that's the reason. So I'll, I'll pick out one of my lines here, and I already have everything all set up. So as you can see here. This is from a 40, and with the same surgeon slash loop knot, so I'm going to put it through 
the end of that swivel. See that? And all this is like in bag here. It's all pre-bagged. See, look. There you go. You're done. So you got your main line here. You got in the middle, that is your lead line. And on the side here, you got your leader line. And from your leader, you can put it whatever type of hook or not to use. Me, I kind of, um, I, I, I'm kind of picky about what I do. I, I, I like mustad hooks. I, I kind of like the circle hooks because the circle hooks, the hook will run along the lip and it will lodge in the corners. So it's going to be a solid hookup. And that way you don't harm the fish that badly because the J hooks will just tear them apart. Um, the reason why you want to use the circles because if it's something small or a species that's um, that you're not supposed to catch because of, uh, it's not the right season or it's too small, you can let it go. So I prefer the circles, and I and I like mustad. So this is it here. This is what I use, and when I do tie my hooks, I use a snail knot on the end. So basically, this is how I make my setup. Um, I I do the same thing for jigging as well as uh, plugging and I just wanted to show you because a lot of people have been asking about this thanks I would also like to add that uh, some of these lines may not be available on the Okuma website because Okuma owns soft steel um, the reason being is because of our ongoing pandemic all right um, a lot of other companies even Daiwa is having these problems um, we don't have enough manpower to man the ships, to pack the containers. There's a lot of health regulations that a lot of companies have to adhere by. And because a lot of the ships come to harbor, there's nobody there to unload it. So there's a backlog of ships out there. Then when the um, um, ships do come in, everything's loading up into the container trucks. The container trucks go out to their delivery sites. Some of the delivery sites can be out of the Midwest. And once they drop it off, they have no other shipments and they have to wait around for a while, so they leave the containers there. So I heard that in the Midwest areas, there's uh, a backlog of containers that are just being dumped out there and not coming back to the port, so it's creating a backlog. Plus, a lot of the companies like Daiwa and Akuma and, and all the other major companies, they're trying to take care of the dealers, the uh, tackle shops first. So let's like, say a huge shipment, this line comes in, all the reels, all the rods, what happens? Is that it goes is sent to the distributors first people like tackle direct uh fish usa they get uh izuo brothers for hawaii they get the products first and from and from there it trickles out to the retail customers okay um pro staffers and um other people are on the low end of the totem pole our job is just to make sure that we uh represent and explain the, the products properly so just bear that in mind because um in, in the last year, uh, most of the stuff I bought, I had to buy my own, uh, just like everybody else, but it's now slowly starting to trickle in. I'm getting some of these newer sizes here, the 10 and the 12. Actually, that's a 10 here. That's a 10 here, but um, they, they lowered the size, and that's the new 12 also. So just to make sure that I have my own products, I've been getting my own. Uh, I have a friend who's with Daiwa, and he told me that uh, he has to wait until August 27th for a lot of the uh, staffers there as well. So this is what I wanted to show you.